this tutorial I will tell you how to send SMS in Flutter. The first step you need to do to send SMS in Flutter is to make changes in, in the public pubsec yaml file and in the pubsec yaml file you have to add the library that is flutter sms add the flutter sms library run the pub get command the next step is to import the package and the package name for using SMS is Flutter SMS. So I will import it, import package Flutter SMS over here. Now after importing the package you need to write the code to send SMS. So for sending, now objective as you know, objective of this presentation is that when the user clicks on the SMS icon, an SMS is sent to this particular contact. This is the objective. Now for that as I wrote a function for the call, I will write a function I will write a separate function for send SMS so I will write over here send SMS uh, sorry this is a wired function wired send SMS and over here I will write the code now from here this code will be called it will be called from here so I will write the code over here this is a let me just put it in the next line now in the unpressed event i will put the i will call the function send sms Now, and now here is the actual code that I will like to send SMS uh, from the Flutter application. Now, in order to send SMS uh, from the Flutter application, you need a string uh, array, a string list of the recipients. So, I will create uh, a list of strings. Uh, Recipients and I will initialize it to only one value. So I will write a phone number over here, for example, plus 92. Any number I will put it here. And the next thing is to call the send SMS uh, method. So I will I will change this to now to send SMS I will call the send SMS uh, method of the of the package oops I, I need to change this uh, name because they are the same name so let me put an underscore over here to distinguish between uh, the send SMS message of uh, my program and, and that of the package so over here I will <coughs> write send SMS and now we need to call the send SMS function in the Flutter SMS library uh, and it has uh, uh, two arguments. The first argument is the message the default message you want to send for example uh, hi there this is my message and the second argument is the recipients so in the recipients I will this is the list this is a string list which I have mentioned over here so recipients is recipients now it will send a message 
and you you uh, you you need to write an await statement over here and async to be asynchronous now let me run this uh, code now let me try it L let me click on this icon and see what happens oops there is an error and the error says device not compatible the current device is not uh, capable of sending test message now when you have this type of error you need to make some changes in the android manifest file which is in the uh, android folder under the android folder go to the app folder and then go to the src folder and inside the src we have the main folder and then we have the android manifest uh, file you uh, just make i will for just to save time i will copy and paste it so you need to add these lines of code use android permission android permission dot send message and also these queries so when you make these changes and rerun the program and click on the let me reduce it on this message uh, no again so i need to stop this and restart the program now i have restarted the emulator let me check here it is So here we are. Let me click it again. Oh yes, it worked. So it is. It has opened the send SMS uh, interface, and I can send this message to this uh, recipient. Now let me make some changes to the code because in the code I have written the hard coded the recipient. Now instead of hard coding it, I will give it as a string over here. So I will string say string, and will say recipient. And instead of hard coding, I will just write the recipient. And since I'm calling it from here, so I will I can give it the number from here. Here is the number. Sorry. Here is the number. Here is the number. I can give the number over here. Uh, are since uh, uh, I'm taking it from the from the Firebase, I'm, I I will use the contact number of of this particular contact. So instead of writing over here, I will. I will say dog of cell number now and if I go to the send SMS I can also remove this message from here to have a blank message now let me check it and when I click on the icon now it is coming over here to this number I can type any message hello and send so oh, that's it <clears throat> so in this way we uh, were able to send SMS to the contact from the contacts list. In the next uh, video, I will tell you how to send a WhatsApp message from the Flutter. So please stay connected. Thank you very much.